I'm here on Main Street in New Britain at Amato's Toy and Hobby. Where kids and the young at heart come for a good time. Oh! Oh! <laughs> there you go. I got my box of farts and I got my chicken. I think we're good. It's Gumby! Gumby! <laughs> We build a trust with people and then we're known for standing behind the stuff we sell. And always have, even back in the plumbing days, so. Come join me as I have some fun. Hi, Alika. Welcome to Amato's. Hi, Hi, Steve. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, you know, it's a lot of fun time here. And there's a long history. Can you tell me about the history of Amato's? Yep, almost 80 years now. My dad started uh, back in the 30s. He wanted to be fly an airplane. Charles Lindbergh had flown around the world. He saved $100 working in greenhouses two summers and invested in a little model airplane department in his father's plumbing store. And from that, we built this. And what makes Amato's different from those average big box chain toy stores? Well, predominantly, you know, they carry whatever's on advertised a lot. In the, on television or whatever, they do. They're big into video games, electronics. We don't do any of those things. We're we're more traditional. A lot of newer stuff too, but not so much the heavily promoted. Okay, well, I know you're going to show us some of the model trains, some of the educational toys. But first, I want to talk about some of these little toys over here on this side. A lot of uh, stuff everybody remembers from their childhood. Metal kazoo's. We've got the whoopee cushion. Uh, we've got fart putty. Um, Wait, wait, what is this? Fart putty? Fart putty, yep. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, so what do I do here? You Fart just putty. stick your thumb in there fast. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's squirt guns, wooden yo-yos. Oh, we have the infamous chicken who lays the egg. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I like this section though, Steve, because, uh, you know, my kids get their allowance, they get just a little bit of money, and everything's always too expensive. Oh, yeah. Go over to this section. What could you get for your allowance? 99 oh. cents. You can have a Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. There's right? Pretty much anything in there is from a dollar to maybe five or six at most. I can see we're going to have a fun time today. So, yep. where are we going to go next, Steve? Start in the center aisle here. Okay. So, we go from the fun little stuff yep. to the ultimate challenge world's largest jigsaw puzzle. 40,320 pieces. It measures uh, like 23 feet long by five foot tall when you assemble it. This is a, a neat new product called Moon Jar, mm -hmm. and it teaches children about responsible saving. And you have uh, one, one slot is for the money to share, one is to spend for yourself, and one is to save. Well, what this is, it's kind of like the old Tinker Toy type the way it assembles but it's much bigger and then you put sheets or blankets over it and you build all different shaped forts for oh, the kids nice. to hide in and play in and and it's it's a lot of fun this is a gym for the person who lives in an apartment doesn't have a backyard that, where they can put a gym set for the children and you hang it in a doorway and it's got swing it's got ladder rope uh the, the oh. app trapeze rings they had a video where they had actually suspended a motorcycle from it to prove how much weight <laughs> it could handle so this is lego um we, ha we have loads and loads of lego fun stuff people love it we also carry a few other lego compatible type things like yep. these meeper bots they're they're um you can build lego bricks on them they make little radio control vehicles mm -hmm. and then you can build something on the radio control base and run it around opposite of that i see some board, board games. games yes we're yep. board games we do a lot with board games um we don't do a lot of the again license you know every year at christmas there's you know a couple years ago frozen was the big thing right. so every game was remade with frozen on right. we pretty much stick with the basic stuff uh you know things like operation and simon if somebody wanted to start off as a model car hobbyist or wanted to start collecting model trucks where would you send them to start off well our best selling entry level vehicle is the stampede this is this is the brushless version which is much faster but the stock version runs around 200 dollars Mm -hmm. It'll even the stock version will do over 30 miles an hour, which for a vehicle that size is fast. So this is our uh, trains, which what we're one of the things we're most known for. The back wall here, our starter sets up top are the bigger Lionel. Down yeah. below are HO, which are smaller. Uh, this uh, 
a Lionel engine. You can see how heavy it yes, is. Yes, very heavy, sturdy. Yeah. These are great for younger kids. We have a lot of adults who collect them as well, but for younger kids, starting as, little, as young as you know five, six years old on their own, HO scale is more popular with older kids, adults. You can build, because it's half the size, you can fit a lot more in a small area. Mm -hmm. So it gives you the ability to build a bigger world right. in your whatever space you have. Here what we have is our scouting department. We not really in the clothing business, but we are for scouts. We sell Boy Scout and Girl Scout uniforms uh, from brownies, daisies, Cub Scouts, Cub, Cub here. Scouts yeah. and Boy Scouts. And we sell the supplies. Uh, Chris, uh, coming up in the winter, Pinewood Derby, they build the wooden little wooden racing car. That's a big thing. We do all kinds of stuff with that, parts and weights and decals and all that kind of fun stuff. Toys galore and so much more. Well, that's my perspective. Hey, Connecticut, what's your perspective? Amato's Toy and Hobby, Main Street in New Britain. Bye-bye.